Ah, another day in Villager Bottom. No relation to SpongeBob. Hey everyone, look at the me. The citizens are bantering. I'm standing on a table. Isn't that crazy? This way, kids. It's over in my room. The local strangers are giving out free candy. How generous. I lost my keys. Me too. School is in session. Hey, I like emeralds. I like emeralds too. I like emeralds. And real things are happening. Hey man, you shouldn't jump off. Really? Yeah. Life is good in Villager Butter. Until that fateful day. Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. And uh, there's nothing more I hate than villagers, so today we're going to blow them all up. <laughs> hey, who's that? Alright, you stupid villagers. You'll never know what hits you. <laughs> Phase 1 begins. Ouch, I'm blowing up. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, villagers, because there's a new TNT master in town. <laughs> that should do it. <sighs> this town looks ravaged enough. Well, I guess I could just make a new town, right? Hey, what's going on guys? Slug.zip here and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video and today I am bringing you, as you saw, a city generator in vanilla Minecraft all done with command blocks by Time Warp Zero one Make sure you check them out. Their information will be in the description below. But basically what this does is it takes all these little pieces together and it combines them into a randomly forming map. Every single time you press this button, you can change the size, the dimensions. You can even repaint using an awesome color painter that I'm going to show off later on in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Minecraft Redstone. If you do, a rating is always appreciated. Let's see if we can get 500 likes for the next Redstone video. But either way, guys, let's go ahead and show this off. So this is what you will see upon downloading the world. Random city generated by Time Warp. Basically, all you really need to know is keep your city size between 3 and 20. Don't, you gotta stay in this general area, otherwise it's not gonna uh, load properly. Uh, don't interrupt the generator for any means, like don't press any of these as it's generating. And of course, there's gonna be a little bit of lag. So, uh, I've actually started us out with a small area of land. Let's just start with the smallest one possible. So, what it does is using all this redstone over here, it takes all these little segments of land and using the clone commands from the latest snapshot videos, places this so it will place the grass over here and you'll see the grass form underneath then it'll grab little segments of each of these and depending on you know the algorithm determined in the command blocks will intelligently collect connect them together can't talk gosh until it forms an awesome city so I'm gonna go ahead and just press generate new city and you're gonna watch this disappear before your eyes and be remade there's still some villagers from the intro by the way guys I hope you enjoyed that I spent way too much time on that <laughs> So, this is as small as it gets. Um, I'm glad this happened because if you'll see, there's it looks like a little bit of chunk error. So, what you're going to want to make sure you do is if you get errors like this, just press F3 and A at the same time. It will reload the chunks. And as you can see, we have the smallest possible iteration. And it looks like it's just formed a little castle. I will show you some of the larger sizes right over here. So, if we go ahead and add this to the column, let's just press this a few times. We'll just press it both. Uh, we'll do five by we'll do five by ten. Now nah, let's do six by ten. That way we get a nice and even number. So we'll press generate again. Press it on down. Maybe the villagers are messing things up. Probably they mess everything up. Ah, but either way, it's laying down the city grid. It can it can get a little laggy. So you just gotta be patient. Once you see the wolves appear, that's when you know something's about to get done. That's when you know things about to go down. Crazy. They blow up, turn into some smoke. You think you're so cool? Not really. But look at that. You can see it forming around you. And just like that, the village is done. Oh, nice! Second story. I didn't even know I could do that. But yeah, it just takes... What are you doing, man? <laughs> he doesn't seem too happy. But I'm going to go ahead and generate the largest city I possibly can right now and show that off to you. Now, this is the one that's going to take a while. So I'm going to press these buttons and we'll just resume when I'm at 20 and 20. Dun. 
Duh and uh, okay. So we're all completely pressed up, and I'm gonna press this sucker down one more time. Generate a new city. So it's gone now. I, I assume that that's actually gone over there. It just hasn't loaded or something like that. No, I tell you what. That's the walls. That's what it grabs from the wall. So you can't. That's why you can't go more than 20 by 20. It'll mess that up. So for now, it is for demonstration purposes. Unless you feel like MC editing all this stuff into your own world and as a schematic, and you know then it might work. But otherwise, it's just for fun, toying around. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and pause and let this generate, and uh, we'll see you then. Oh, looks like it just laid down the grass. Oh, here we go. It's slowly starting to form it. Wow, see, that's what it using the segments. And then, I don't know, based on some redstone magic, I can only assume it chooses the new layout for the city. So cool. Seeing it made right in front of you. Hate when that happens. But here's the roofs. And we have our brand new, completely randomized city each time. So, more generation happening live. We've got a nice close-up look of it going on around here. Oh, oh, I'm so okay. Oh, that was a close one, everybody. But yeah, you can see all the stairs being formed, the villagers adhering, and I'm stuck again. Let's press F3 and A and again reload those roofs. But now that you're left with your brand new generated city, I can finally start to explain what this little sucker is right here. This is the building painter. And as you can see, I'll put up my little... Put up your ability to type a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on here. It'll say, throw the snowball to bring up the first menu. So I'm just going to go and display this myself. So what we're going to want to do right now is you throw it down and you get a new menu that pops up. And this menu is going to allow you to change individual portions of the city. As you can see right now, it's made of various slabs and double stone and brick and nether fences and you know things of that nature. Each one's got its own specific texture and this was built in mind for repainting them. So, again, we have this menu up, so I think I want to change, what do I want to change? Let's change the stone bricks to something. So where, stone bricks. Okay, so now, when you select that, I think I, oh yeah, I had, it. this is the menu, this right. You gotta have this menu first, so choose the block you wanna highlight. This is what will pop up right away. So, stone bricks, we're gonna highlight this sucker down and you'll see the stone brick area is now highlighted. When there's a yellow stained glass, that means it's highlighted. So from there, you throw another snowball, and this is the menu you get. And this is what you can use to replace the highlighted blocks with a new block of your choice. So I'm thinking, oh gosh, what do I want to do? You know what, I think let's do obsidian. So just like that, all the blocks will now be placed, and it's going to be obsidian. You got obsidian instead of your highlighted glass, so pretty sweet. Um, let's, In fact, let's just keep painting a little bit. I see some stone. The stone looks kind of ugly. What do... Uh, what could we do with the stone? I gotta think. Let's throw in a snowball. I'm thinking, I'm thinking let's do dark prismarine just because it's a new block and no other reason behind it. Oh, that's not, that's not that too bad. Okay, so what are these? I want to make sure what block this is just in case it don't mess up. So stone slabs, and we got some more stone slabs. How about this? Let's change that spruce. We'll change the spruce to stuff that real dice. Um, so let's change the spruce. So the spruce, oh, well, wrong block, but either way, the spruce will now be... What would be the best wood for that? Hmm. I wouldn't need to do. Let's do quartz. Is there a quartz option? Quartz. So now that's all quartz. Looking real fancy. I like it. And uh, we'll change the dark oak, I believe, is what we need. So dark oak. Dark oak. Let's turn you into birch. Because birch is just a lovely color. So just like that, it's basically become its own city. I think we'll leave the double slabs for now. But. It is as easy as that to customize. Something like this could be excellent for machinimas if you're trying to make a video, as you saw. I tried to do my best with the villager bottom, but if you want to change the ground of the city, you gotta head back over here, and you change ground from right here. The same kind of menu pops up. You press this, and you change it to whatever ground you want. So what would be a good, let's change it to mycelium. All right, so with any luck, yep, it looks like it was changed instantly, and suddenly we've got a very, <laughs> Interesting colored city. Uh, it doesn't seem like the villagers are too happy. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> He's not pleased. Um, but anyways, guys, that's actually about it as far as this little redstone contraption goes. So I really thought it was worth sharing. I hope you check out Mr. Time Warp. Again, his info will be in the in uh, description, as well as a download to test this out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember, make sure you leave a like on the video. We want 500 for the next Redstone video, guys, so I, I hope we hit that, and above all else, we will catch you for the next video.
Thanks again and see ya.